What is up, peeps? This is Father Win TCG, and I'd like to welcome you back to another YouTube video. Did you like my Vsauce intro there? I thought it was pretty sweet. Anyway, it is time to get into another YouTube video, and of course, we have a brand new deck list for you today. Oh, wait, no, it's pack and match time. Ha <laughs> ha, I lied. In fact, I forgot. But you know what? We're going to roll with it. <laughs> um, let's actually get into a, uh, another episode of Back and Match. So if you don't know this series, uh, I'll leave a link or a card notation to the first episode where I briefly explain it. But I'll go over it again anyway. Which means it's kind of pointless for me to suggest the annotation. But nonetheless, here we are. Absolutely rolling on with every single mistake I make. But anyway, Pack and Match. It's quite simple. Uh, we open a pack. And whatever we get, which is the rare, we use in a match. Now, last time we did do a Lost Thunder, so I want to try something a little bit different. I think what we need to do is open up. Hmm. Let's think. Oh, oh. oh so much choices. Oh. Okay, we want to do standard format because I don't really have much expanded cards, so that would be kind of pointless, right? So let's do Guardians Rising. We're going to do a Guardians Rising pack. And we're going to see what we pull in this pack. And, uh, ooh, a little chest. Let's open this anyway. Uh, whatever we pull in the pack, I told you, as a rare, we do get to use in a um, in a deck. And we have to play four of that card if that is something we can do. You know, if we pull, like, a Prison Star or something, which I don't think is in Guardian Driving, um, then obviously we can't. But in, in, in the case that it is a card we can, we must. Oh, no! Oh, oh no. Search your deck for three basic fire Pokemon and put them onto your bench, then shuffle your deck. This is going to go so bad. Discard an energy from this Pokemon if you do discard an energy from your opponent's active. Okay, so I've got something in mind and it's just going to work out horrendously. Um, oh no, we have to get like real creative here and just think like outside the, think outside the deck box. That's my uh, little motto there. Let's get Oricorio. Is it or Oricorio? Oricorio, yeah. Oh no. Okay. Oh, this is just this is just horrible. Okay, we're definitely playing choice helmet. <laughs> That's for certain. Uh because we can't play dumbbells, obviously. Um What are we gonna do? So I, I think we've got to go down the road of mill. Um so we could do uh discard energy from this Pokemon if you do discard an energy from your opponent's active. Okay. So we need to find a way to minimize the attack cost, uh, first things first. So I think what we'll do is we, there's, I know we could go down the Macargo GX route of accelerating energy, but I kind of like the idea of using the XP share. Um, although that doesn't make sense because we're going to be attaching Choice Helmet. So is there any other way to accelerate fire that isn't, you know, a Kiawe or something? Um, let's, let's check. Let's we'll type fire and see what we can do. Um, that's stage two. We could obviously... Heat Factory would be very helpful. I don't like the idea of Kiawe too much. Um, oh, it's just like super rough. Okay. Um, we might have to do Macargo uh, GX just to accommodate. So we, we're going to do the Macargo GX engine, which is going to be a bit weird in this kind of deck, but this is where we're at. So we'll play two, two Macargo GX and two Macargo. And we'll play four Slugma. Um, I guess so just, you know, roughly. And then we could Zeb Striker. But I don't know if that's going to work very well in the mill deck. I've never really tried it. Um, so I don't know how I feel about that. We could throw Entei in there. Bear in mind, we don't have to go down the mill route. But of course, we want to for the sake of... Uh, Lele's not really effective in mill, is it? Because Lele's just an easy pick. Um, four big GX decks. Thinking about it. So we could... Do a Ranguru. I, still, I don't. I want. I don't want to do Zeb Striker. I think that's too aggressive for a mill deck. Um, I guess we can do a Ranguru resource management as well to recover some cards. That seems like a good idea. Uh, we do want four Guzma because we want to be able to trap things in the active as much as we can, uh, especially with this kind of deck. Um, of course, we need our crushing hammers and stuff like that. Four of those. Enhanced hammer. We'll play two enhanced hammers. I think. Uh, secret rare, <laughs> uh, and then we can play Lusamine. I think I have both of the, uh, the, the, yep, there we go, two Lusamine, so we can throw that Lusamine combo in, which, by the way, should be broken when Lieutenant Surge comes out. Um, that's going to be an incredibly crazy card. Plumeria will do as well. Let's do that. Plumeria, we'll throw two of you in there, and then Team Skull Grunt, we'll throw one of you. Uh, what else is there? Is there another Grunt card? No, I'm thinking of Flare Grunt, aren't I? Um... If we do Supporter and then Discard, I think I'm missing one. Um, 
It's a paradise. No, 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 no. Oh, just hit the table. Sorry. Um, no, no, no. Or we could Mars it. Mars could be quite good, actually, as our, like, one of our draw supporters. That's pretty decent, actually. Um, yeah. I think we'll do Mars. That seems right, because uh, we get to... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm quite, I'm quite happy with this. All right. So, with that said, we've got Mars. And let's just throw in our main draw supporters. So, of course, the Cynthia's and the Lilies, I guess. I think Lily would be all right. <clears throat> yeah, I think Lily would be fine, which means we have to play some discards. So obviously, we need to get the Ultra Ball in there. Ultra Ball. Ultra Ball. Not loose to me. Prism Star. Ultra Ball, please. Thank you. Right, there we go. And we're just going to get four Nest Ball in here as well, I guess. We will make cuts, obviously. We, I know I've got like a, a, a load here. Um, let's just fill the rest up with Fire Energy. I'd, love, I'd like to have eight Fire Energy and like two Counter Energy. Because we can use counter energy quite well. Um, and what would we have to cut out then? Probably a Plumeria. Probably a Choice Helmet. Um, two more cards. We could cut a Lily. Oh, no, I don't want to cut my draw supports. I mean, I guess we could cut the Mars. But we want to have some fun, right? Um... Mm, this is tough. The, we could cr cr cut the crushing hammers. We could reduce it to one Macargo and like that. But then like the cool part is that we get to use Macargo to mill, you know, to actually get the cards we want, which is really effective. And the heat factory. So like there's just so much we can do. Maybe we'll go down to one loose mean um, and drop maybe down to one Mars. Let's, I think let's just do that. Okay, so we got we got our deck, which is just going to be so bad. <laughs> But I'll call it back in match two. Um, oh, this is just going to be so horrible. Anyway, um, let's get into a game. I don't know why I'm really saving a deck box and sleeves and stuff, but I like doing that stuff, okay? Let's get into a game now and see how this works out. And it's just going to be so bad. Okay, I need to find it now, which is just another thing. So, P, 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 There you are, pack match two. Good stuff. Okay. Let's get into the game and see. And I am not. I am honestly not confident. The face cam's quite high. Let me, uh, I'll just try and sit up maybe or lower it a little bit. No, nah, I'll, I'll leave it at that for now, I think. I think we're okay. Um, I'm not looking forward to this match at all. We're probably just going to get destroyed. But we, we've made a deck. We've got a concept, which is, of course, the point of this series. So we need to see if we can somehow pull off a win here. Um, I'm just hoping we can, you know. Doubting it very heavily, but I'm hoping we can. Maybe the Entei, thinking about it now, was just a really stupid idea. But uh, we're here, and uh, that's what we're doing. So, hey, what do you want me to say? Okay, so we're going first. So let's just hold our hand and see what we can do. Now, we could actually use Passionate Dance. Obviously, we're going first, so we can't now. But search your deck for up to three basic five Pokemon and put them onto your bench. So we could actually just lay out our Slugmas, um, which means we could probably could have cut the Nest Balls a bit, but... We could just lay out all our Slugmas, which would be great, actually. So, hey, that's some sort of use, I guess, for the first attack. Um, and we could see that actually come into play soon. So, they haven't played in Energy. So, I'm just going to do this and Cynthia. Uh, we don't need to Plumeria right now. Um, what? A Bruxish? Huh? Sorry? Hello? Oh, my God. We've got everything. And we've got another Oracorio. Don't even need to use Passionate Dance. All right. Um, but what are we up against? Obviously a water deck, because you know. Of course, my luck, right? Uh, come on, we're getting something I'm weak to. Um, 60 damage to one of your opponent's bench Pokemon that has any damage counters on it. Maybe this is one with the... Um... Hmm. It's a mill deck too. This is weird. This is weird. Now, I know, as I say in every single video, that, you know... Um, I may come up, or I'm likely to come up again. Oh, it's a whale on the deck. Okay, okay. I did not see that going. Um, just coming out of nowhere like that. Jesus. Okay, it's a whale on the deck. Um, that just completely took me by surprise. I was just going to say, I'm coming up against, I will be coming up against decks every now and then that are, you know, not really meta. Um, because of, of course, my low elo from constantly trying out decks and quitting and stuff. But I've been winning a lot of games in the versus ladder recently. And even the, the new decks I've been trying out have been actually functioning really well. Um, and I'm quite excited to release them, actually. But with that said, 
I'm not sure, because I've been coming up against good stuff, like Lost Marches and Zorok decks. I've been coming up against that stuff recently, and now we just come up against some random Waylord Lapras deck. Um, and Ruxish. I don't know what's going on. What does this do? Look, uh, you may look at the top two cards of your deck and put them back in many order. I mean, that's kind of cool. Um, that's kind of neat. But if you're going to do that, you might as well just go for a, a cargo, right? I mean, it's just the evolution. Right. Um, hmm. Bit confused. Not going to lie. I'm a bit confused. Uh, Okie dokie. This is a bit weird. Uh, let's just see if we get a fire energy, which we don't. And uh, our hand is just cluttered with nest balls, which is awful. Okay, we're just going to attach this here. Um, I guess we're going to throw that on this because this is doomed. Pretty much doomed to die. Um, I mean, we could take the 30. I don't mind. Yeah, I mean, I don't really mind. At least it activates our counter energy, you know. But I did not consider when building this deck, I guess this is, the, this is the real challenge of this series, is we have to consider these little things that we're probably going to realise in the first game, is uh, we have to discard our own energy to use the Kindle attack and actually mill. So we have to discard the counter energy, which is a bit rough. Um, and that does not feel good at all. So uh, I'm not happy with that. Now, looking at this choice helmet, I don't think it really does much. It effectively brings our HP to 120, if I'm correct. So that just means the Zorak will still one hit KO us, right? But um, at least they have to hit the <coughs> the 120 in order to KO us with the Choice Helmet. But um, I mean, if they take out the Toriel Courier, what we can do is we can actively thin our hand down with these Nest Balls. Or we could just play one Nest Ball and go for Pumeria. That could be something we can do. Uh, it depends what they're doing with their energy, whether they get energy attached right now. Because if they attach an energy this turn, then I will go for the Plumeria just to get all their energy out of play. What would be really tough is if this is somewhat a Quagsire deck. I doubt it, considering what they've benched so far. Like, I really doubt it's a Quagsire deck. Um, mainly because, like, these Pokemon, are, like, there's, there's no, no Poi Poles, there's no Whoopers on the bench. I don't know what we're doing here. I mean, depending on how this game unfolds, we'll determine whether or not we do get into another one, because this just seems a bit awkward. I just don't know what's going on, if I'm going to be completely honest. Right, so I guess we could Pumeria and not actually go for the Kindle, but... Oh, good stuff. Okay, so we are going to thin here. And get... Probably the... No, we won't get resource management just yet. And then we will Plumeria. That's what we're going to do. We're going to Plumeria. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, and I'm going to have a cargo for a... Probably a Macargo GX. Or should, no, should we Macargo for another Macargo? No, a Macargo GX. Yeah, let's get Macargo GX. Because we only have one Oranguru pool here, so... That wouldn't be as effective getting another Macargo. Okay, Crushing Hammer. I mean, effectively speaking, we are in, f in front on the energy race here, if you know what I'm saying. I mean, the Kindle's kind of pointless. We could just start attaching to this Macargo, right? But... That's a bit rough. I don't really like that idea too much. Um, I guess we just sit here and just wait. I know I could attach... I mean, <coughs> one bit of synergy that just came across to me now is that our GX attack discards the top five cards of our opponent's deck. So we could actually do a bit of milling there if we do get in that position. The one great thing to do would be to really take advantage of the, the mess of this deck, not to, you know play down on my opponent, but it doesn't seem to be any sort of clear strategy or, or combo at play on their side. It looks like they just, they probably like got Waylord and just went, play water deck and just threw a bunch of water Pokemon in there and is trying it out. Uh, that's going to be my guess. Um, so if they have no real combo to really make Waylord work, we could just stick Waylord in the active and just keep it there. Um, considering that it just doesn't look like things are making much sense see we we could yeah we could try and stick the way in the active and uh, just just go for it and just keep milling the energy that's what i think we might have to do um there's the aqua patch so the crushing hammer could really work here and the kindle because we can get rid of both energy if it pays off and we can obviously uh you know instruct and use Macargo for you know to get sorry um some more crushing hammers if we need to so with that said um I think our board state's pretty decent, um, <laughs> considering that we are, we have the passionate dance attack. We didn't need it, but considering that we have the passionate dance attack, we can actually pretty much set up every game perfectly if we want to. Not to say that I'm going to play this deck again, but um, it is an option, right? Okay, so that's a mind blown again. Now, a Guzma would be great, and that's what we can actually pull. So let's just see what's going on here. Right, so I think we attach an energy to... 
Okay, let's... I think we're crushing hammer first. We failed that. Okay, so I've got to think here. We could retreat this. And kindle that. I think that's what we're going to do here. So, yeah, we're going to use my cargo, get a fire energy on top of the deck. That's what I want to do. We're only on three. Gosh, okay. That feels a bit weird. Uh, and then we can use this Macargo GX's ability here, which would be nice. <coughs> Accelerate that. And just manually retreat. Uh, yeah, unfortunately, we're costing effectively a DCE. Uh, we'll just pull with this around Guru, see what we get. It'd be great to get another Crushing Hammer or something. Uh, which we don't, but we pulled another Macargo, and we can actually now control our top deck, which is good. I think a Guzman would be a really good top deck. But, oh, that's one thing I forgot to put in here. Oh, this was rough. Um, yeah, we can Guzma because we can use Macargo GX's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can use Macargo's GX attack if we want to. All right, let's go for Kindle here. And, uh, yeah, we'll discard the energy. Good stuff. Um, that's fine with me. And we, th <laughs> Okay, this is... Uh, I didn't realize again. Sometimes you just accidentally synergize your deck. Like I didn't realize my cargo GX has to discard the top five cards. Um, and I didn't realize this card had passionate dance, which would set up the slugmas. I didn't realize these synergies uh, or the synergy was going to work out here, but I, I guess it does. Um, I've also just realized that putting in resource management allows us to get our energies back so we can uh, accelerate them again with the Macargos. So that kind of works out, luckily. So we have effectively an infinite loop for our Kindle, which is great. Um, it's weird saying for our Kindle, because I know it's the Amazon Kindle. Um, but we have we can use Kindle infinitely, pretty much, which is cool, right? I mean, again, not the best deck, but somehow we've made something synergize. Um, just randomly. And this is how I come across my deck. No, I'm joking. <laughs> when I make my decks, I do, like, really scout... The, uh, for cards and think how combos could happen and take place. But sometimes you miss some simple stuff. Um, and that's the great thing about Pack and Match, this, this series that I've come up with, is just you get to sit there and be like, okay, you're forced to look for a certain combo because you have to find out what works with the cards you've pulled. Um, and it really broadens your uh, deck making, I think, because it just helps a lot. Okay, so we could Macargo and then Aranguru and then Macargo and Accelerate. So we've got a good, en good engine going, which is nice. Um, so I think what we're going to do is Guzma this turn for the Waylord. That's kind of... Oh, we pulled it as well. Good stuff. Oh, I love that. Okay, let's Guzma up the Waylord. That's good. That's good. Um, and before we go any further... This is, the, this is the tough part, though, okay? Is we are going to be running out of energy real soon. And we don't have any space for our Oranguru, which is kind of tough. So we might have to just sit here and pass, which feels... Awful. Okay, that feels really bad. I don't like that at all. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to Oranguru for a... I think I just want to get the Oranguru in... Oh, no, no, no. We could go for a... Oh, we could go for a Mars or a Skull Grunt. Skull Grunt seems good, actually. Let's go for a Skull Grunt. Let's... Oh, wait, did we... No, we played Guzma. The doy, think, Sean. I think getting a Crushing Hammer then would be, would be best now. Um, kind of want them to KO one of my Pokemon so I can get the resource management around Guru, but I've got to be careful to not this make not use up all my energy, you know, that would be kind of rough. So let's crush the camera, see if we hit the heads, we do, we get to discard that energy there, and then we can go ahead and kindle here. Um, again, this would really work with Shrine, obviously, but, um, again, using the Shrine would counter on a cargo, and I just, at, on the spot, unless there is one that you figured out, on the spot, I could not think of any other way to play this deck and have some success so i was like you know the macargo is great for dealing with the energies um and it would turn somehow turned out to have some sort of good synergy right so i'm sure this could work with incineroar thinking about it um speaking of wouldn't incineroar be good now considering we have macargo gx hmm maybe that's something we could try out right incineroar could be good with just macargo <laughs> and macargo yeah well not macargo gx just macargo um Considering it is a consistency engine. Uh, right, let's see what they pull here. So they've got another energy in play. They could GX attack me, which would be the worst thing they could possibly do. To be honest. It's a bit of a shame that we've come up against some strange uh, deck. But <laughs> I'm kind of happy that I get to at least play, <laughs> you know, <laughs> rather than getting into a game where it's just awful. Okay, so get rid of the choice helmet. Um, and if they GX attack me, that would just be 
funny. That would be quite funny. <laughs> it would be to say the very least. Um, but I kind of just want them to KO my Oracoria right now so I can get resource management back in and just start getting the energy back up or just start recovering. To be fair, we could just resource management our way to victory, right? That's kind of what we can do. Let's see what's going on with our deck when it comes to energy. I think we have one more fire energy and then we're pretty much forced to just find another route because we need that counter for the Oranguru. So we're going to have to go for another Kindle here, which is just the way it is. So let's do that. Although, tell a lie, I think what I could have done is Ultra Ball away, Finn, get a Guzma, and then use Makago GX's GX attack. I could have done that. That would have been better. No, it wouldn't, because we wouldn't have been doing anything. Oh, no, it might have been better. Anyway, let's play Cynthia. I know I could have Ultra Ball and use Makago to get what I want, but we're, like, in such a good spot. It really doesn't matter. Like, especially considering this is, like, a manual attachment deck. It just works for us. Okay, so let's get... I think what we want to get is the Oranguru in our hands. We just want it there, ready to go. So let's let's grab that in the top deck. Uh, next time we can go for some Skull Grunt, so we don't have to just sit there and pass. At least we get to play something, which would be good news. So yeah, fingers crossed. Um, things turn out well. So they're just going to start charging up the Bruxish, which makes perfect sense. Um, but have they got a switch or anything? I don't know what this person's playing. So I have no idea what is going on. So I'm assuming they're just going to pass. At which we're just at a stalemate. Okay, so they're going to Guzma. What are they going to bring up? Okay, please take out one of these things. Please do. Because I'm just going to plonk the Oranguru down. Um, probably ultra ball the way the Entei and the Cynthia, and then get myself the Orang um, not the Oranguru, get myself the counter energy, and then just start resource management everything back into the deck whilst trapping the Waylord. That's what I think I'm gonna do. So, at least we can get some fire energy back to recover, um, that kind of stuff, and some crushing hammers. The Plumeria would be good again. But I think what we need to do though is just get these fire energies back into the deck, like ASAP. Oh, they got the Moo Moo Milk. Oh my God, this game's going to go forever. This game is literally going to go forever. We're actually going to go to the end. I can see this happening. <laughs> oh, this is so, so, so bad. Okay, Oranguru, hello, hello, hello. Let's Ultra Ball, you two away and pass so we can guarantee that we get the counter energy. So let's do that now. I know we could play the Guzma. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's play the Guzma. Um, and then we get to draw an extra card of the Oranguru. And let's get the Waylord up front. Again, highest retreat cost. Um, and very hard attack to achieve. So let's go for the Oranguru. I think I already stacked, didn't I? So let's do that. And let's get the counter energy. Good stuff. Uh, we don't have any fire energy in deck, do we? Let's think. We don't do. We? Not at all. Nope. I'm going to get Choice Helmet for the Oranguru. That's what I think I want to do. Yeah, that seems like... That uh, seems somewhat decent. Anyway, let's resource management some fire back into the deck. I mean, if we want, we can go down the line of using Makago Jex just to attack and get some KOs because this is going to take forever. <laughs> this is really going to take forever. And we might have to start going aggressive all of a sudden, um, which is something we have the option to do. I mean, we did just discard the Entei, so um, that's not too great. But we could just go aggressive here. But again, we can go for some more cheeky discards but again i just don't know which route to take so what is this 50 plus 50 for every so it's 200 damage that i mean if we want to get this we need how many energy one two three four five six we need six energy if i'm correct six times five is 300 right yes <laughs> wait yes okay <laughs> i don't know math's awful maths is awful so i think we yeah we have to get like six energy on that to oh my god and then we have to discard it all and then hope the Evanguru is still alive oh we could actually just be stupid crazy here and attack with this Makago or we could be smart you know and uh use my GX attack <laughs> yeah the do we uh we'll probably get the Evanguru in the active okay let's uh let's use our GX attack this turn and we are gonna I was gonna say we're gonna flare grunt but we need to Guzma so that's where we're at okay so let's attach that here. 
and then we'll go for the Oranguru in the active, and then we'll go for our GX attack. That sounds good. Just to be safe, we're going to throw the choice helmet here. Oh, wait, I'm an idiot. I was meant to do that on the Oranguru. Oh, well, here we are. <laughs> here we are just flopping. Oh, we could Crushing Hammer. Let's do that. Let's take the opportunity to Crushing Hammer whilst they've got energy in play. I think getting rid of one on the Bruxish could be helpful. Let's think. Do we even get the heads before we decide? No, we don't. Okay, so we don't really have the choice to decide, unfortunately. So let's just uh, go for that. Discard the top five cards of their deck. So they're now down to 18, which means they're kind of catching up with us a little bit. But again, we've got the resource management. We currently have 16. They have 17. However, their timer is down to 15 minutes. Our timer is 18 minutes, which means that if it does ever go down to the wire, odds are we'll just get the win through time. But let's, not, let's hope it doesn't go down there because... Uh, I do not want a game to last that long where we just win for the sake of how long this person took to play in comparison to me. So, yeah, let's not do that. <laughs> anyway, next time we're probably just going to grab another Guzma if we have another one. I know we've played quite a few. We probably have one more in the deck. It depends if it's in our prizes, which means we should probably should have played a Gladian thinking about it. See, so many ways you could just... Uh, so, so many things you realize when you, when, you, when you just make a deck from scratch in a short period of time. Um, you're like, oh yeah, could have played this. Oh, could have played that. <laughs> Probably could have done this. Um, but they are slash rushing. Let's see what they pull here. We do need to start discarding energies now. Um, yeah, we do. I mean, we could Kindle actually this turn instead of using resource management. Let's do that. Okay, this is a bit weird. We can't top deck anything right now because our Ranguru is not active with us having this stuff. So I think what we're going to do is we're just going to top deck a... What could we top deck that we could just play? We could just attach the energy manually, but then we can't play with Guzma. We could top deck an Ultra Ball, but that's like not going to help. Um, we have another Oracorio. We might have to do the lad. Um... No, <coughs> let's, yeah. Let's top deck the Oracorio. Um, oh, no, I think I made a misplay. I think I should have top decked the... Actually, yeah, I'm going to change my play here. I was going to Lily for the Oracorio, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to Cargo now again, sorry, for a Guzma, so I can get out of the active next turn. And um, we'd have to resource management again to bring the Guzmas back. But we're going to Team Skull Grunt now. That's what we're going to do. So, oh, yeah, look at that. Get rid of those energies. Good stuff, good stuff. Um, now we can, we can actually pull the Guzma, I guess. That's kind of cool. So I played that in the complete wrong order. What I should have done is Team Skull Grunt, um, discard the energies, then use my cargo, grab the Guzma, play the Guzma, and then resource management. That's what I should have done, but I played it a bit wrong. Um, and that is my fault completely. So let's just pass here. And uh, we got to start resource management, management-ing some Guzmas and maybe a Plumeria because... We need to discard stuff, like, or maybe a Guzma and a Crushing Hammer. I don't know. I don't know. Things are looking a little bit rough now that they are attaching energy, you know? Or we get Crushing Hammers and Plumerias, and then we just, like, try, you know, to... Um... Yeah, I think we're going to do that, and we're going to try, like, our best to start discarding the energy off the Wailord, because that's, like, our big... You know, big alarm. It's like, don't don't let that thing get charged. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to Guzma up the Oranguru again. Um, considering that they won't have any sort of escape board attach retreat option. Or hopefully no switch option. And they've played Guzmas a lot. So how many Guzmas have they done too? So they could Guzma, I guess. But, yeah. I think that's what we're going to do. I think, I think, I think, I think, I think. Hopefully they don't, they don't have a Guzma or anything down the line. Let's nest ball, see what we can get. I mean, we could get another. Let's get Oracorio. Yeah, I was going to say we could get another thingy. Thingy! Another thingy, my bob. Uh, so, Guzman now, and then we get to use our cargo pull with an Oranguru, which would be good. And we could actually pull something useful. Uh, to be fair, I don't know if we have anything useful there. <laughs> I really don't. Let's let's see. I've got hair on my nose. It's irritating me. Um, Mars? Uh, energy? We could use Profound Knowledge, but that would just be silly. Um, Lusamine? Um, we could Lusamine for our Guzmas back. Oh. I think a Lusamine is the best option. 
Like, looking at all of this, Lucamine's the best. So let's just pull a Lucamine for next turn. And then we can... Actually, because of that Lucamine, we can pull with a Ranguru here. Thinking about it. And then we can... Resource management. Not have to worry about resource management our Guzmas back. We can actually resource management some energy discards back. Yeah. Let's resource management some crushing hammers and, and a plumeria. I think that's just where we need to go right now. We need to like focus a bit less on the energy acceleration onto these things. Because they're getting KO'd real fast. And they will be KO'd fast by this thing. Um, and we need to like really take down that Wailord like ASAP. You know, we really need to take that thing out. Well, not, not sorry, not take it out, but completely rid of its energies because it is getting real close to Super Splash, and that is really freaky. <laughs> they are just an Aquapatch away, which they play. So, like, that's scary. We might... Oh, this is tough. This is super, super, super tough. Okay. The thing that's bothering me now... Is um Oh maybe that was the strategy of this deck was to tower splash GX, which I don't know how they were thinking about doing it quickly, but I'm assuming they wanted to tower splash GX and then go for the Bruxis to just 60 damage poke everyone off, right? I mean that's kind of a cool concept. I like that. I like that. But it, you you'd have to find a way to get this done up quickly. So maybe playing this in the tech of the Naganado um Quagsire list, I think that'd be pretty cool. But um hey, that's just for me. Um, right. The thing is, cross they don't have like an Aqua Patch Guzma play, and they go, they go get an extra draw thanks to the Sand Slash. So they do have some sort of engine going, right? Because they could Lapras and then Sand Slash what they want. It's kind of like a weird Makargo and Guru thing. By the way, Makargo Sand Slash works very well. It's pretty much just get any card you want every turn. <laughs> you know, it does it does work pretty well. I played it in the deck before. Oh no. Okay, that's fine. That's actually fine. I don't mind one Macargo going down, to be fair. So that's like, that's okay. And I get another draw here. I mean... Uh, what could we do? Alright, we are 100% Luther Meaning. Luther Meaning uh, are... Guzman's back, which means we're kind of just sitting here like... Sitting ducks, <laughs> literally. Uh... We could Skull Grunt. No, we want our Guzmas. We want to constantly trap stuff in the active for the time being. Um, what? How many fire energy do we have? Two. I guess we can use our, our Crushing Charge right now onto the Oracorio, just in case, right? We might as well take the opportunity to do so. Okay, that seems good. Maybe we should have crossing charge to here and take some prizes and see if we get something important from the prizes. But let's get off the top deck a crushing hammer. Yeah, because we're going to Guzma next time. We're not going to play the Plumeria. So we'll get a crushing hammer and uh, hopefully we can, you know, start discarding some energy uh, off of this big thing that's about to go and start, you know, super splashing us for 180 damage, uh, which is uh, uh, far from ideal, to say the least. At least they're not playing any Guzma. So, I mean, they can manually retreat and super splash this turn. Um... That's very true, they could. So, what's their Guzma? So, they played three Guzma. Odds of them having four are quite rare. So, what I'm planning to do is trap this Orangu in the active. It's the highest retreat. Well, they all got two retreat. But, that's one well, now has the lowest HP. And they are coming close to decking out. So, and they don't have any resource management. So, I think we're actually coming close to a win. We're getting there. We're getting there. <laughs> Oh gosh, we are getting there. Hopefully, hopefully this pulls through. I'm not a big fan of playing mill decks, if I'm going to be completely honest. But I was just like, this is the only way I see Oracorio working. I was like, we need to just mill. Um, otherwise, this, this deck is just pointless. Well, this card in itself was pointless. Okay, so Crushing Hammer, let's play it. Come on. Ha ha, perfect stuff. So they're now two turns behind. And we get to trap the Oranguru. Good stuff. I just want to get an Ultra Ball back. Oh, no, no, we've got Ultra Balls. Okay, so let's let's actually get an Ultra Ball. Because I want to discard these stuff in my hand so I can use a Ranguru a bit better. Oh, wait, no. Okay, no, I'm fine. I was about to say, because resource management doesn't shuffle your deck, does it? Okay, that's good news. Um, 
yeah, I'm fine with that. I know we have the other uh, Makargo, but I want a top deck when I want a top deck. Get Crushing Hammers and... Team Skull Gun? Or should we get Lusamine? I think we should get Lusamine back because we need our Guzmas again just so we can keep trapping. Plus, we have Guzmas in our hand as well, so we kind of just got infinite Guzmas now, which is good if we pull these Lusamine. Um, but again, these Crushing Hammers are at the bottom of our deck. So what we need to do is we need to Makargo them at the top and then bring them out with a Ranguria, which is why I got the Ultra Ball. Because I want to get rid of the um, Cynthia and the Enhanced Hammer. Lily's good because we can actually play the Lily to get our top deck off the Makargo as well, um, which is kind of nice. Um, but yeah, this, this person is just at the point now where they are super close to just decking out. Um, and that, you know, this Makargo deck definitely paid off. They would be at nine cards rather than four right now. Um, which means they would have had a ton more turns to get energy on this thing. So the Makaga Jex attack really helped. Kindle early game helped out. And now our Ranguru is just winning us the game by bringing everything back into play. So it is a classic mill deck strategy when you look at things. Right, so let's Ultra Ball away the Cynthia. And we're going to just pass. Now we get to have two pulls that we want this turn. So we are 110% getting two Crushing Hammers. Like that's dead certain. So we're going to pull that, and then we're going to Ranguru for it. Good stuff. And uh, then we hopefully hit heads. We could slow them down drastically if we do. Good stuff. Yes. I am in love with that. Now, what I want to do is instead of getting Crushing Hammer is get probably uh, Plumeria. I mean, we could just Plumeria. I don't know. We can't use Plumeria. I guess we get the Crushing Hammer anyway and just try again just to slow them down even more. So let's just go for that. So we're going to draw a lot of cards here off of this, which is kind of good. And we have the Mars as well. And the Energy Attachment, which we could throw onto this Aura Courier. So if we want to use it later on, we can. Heads again. Oh, look at this. Oh, I feel so sorry for him. We're just getting rid of everything. Okay. Oh, I didn't resource management. <laughs> I'm an idiot. I just passed. I'm so stupid. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. We're okay. We're winning. We're good. We're good. We're all right. We are, we're winning. We, we, we've probably got the win. Um, again, such a weird game. Such a weird episode, isn't it? <laughs> Something's just not right. Uh, so we're throwing the Brooklet down, oddly. Um, three cards left in the deck. I mean, what more can you do? I mean, you've got to be playing more Aquapatch, right? There's got to be like an Aquapatch sitting there. But like right now, what is Aquapatch going to do? You've got one energy. You went down from four to one in like two turns, um, which is great. This Broxish is not a big priority, which is kind of good. Um, and if they want to get this Oranguru, they need to manually attach to it as well. Now, discarding my energy is really not going to do much. So that's okay. Um, yeah, now we're just, like, we're rolling. We are just rolling here. Okay, so let's get the last Crushing Hammer here. And we're going to Mars for it, which is like, oh, great stuff. Great stuff. Come on, discard energy. Energy. Ah, Bugsish. I mean, that's fine. Can't complain, right? So, uh, Tails, unfortunate. Let's get a top deck of a Lusamine. That's what we want. We want Lusamine top deck. And we're going to bring Crushing Hammers back into the deck. We're just going to keep using Crushing Hammer. I, like, I feel like that's what we just need to do now. Just completely slow them down um, and use Crushing Hammer as much as we can. Um, and use it to its, its best effect. So that's what we're just going to do now. Um, which is great. And they've just got one card left. So if they sand slash draw, we just pass. And then that is the game. Again, what a weird episode. What a weird deck. What a weird lie. I'm joking. Um, so weird. So strange. But nonetheless, did they just use Lapras' ability? <laughs> I think they're like, yeah, I'm done. I'm done. They got so close though. They got really close to just super splashing everything and then, you know, taking the game. Down to three prize cards. They just needed to super splash this once and then get another KO and then they would have won. So, like, okay, they, they've definitely given up. Unless they have, like, a judge or something. I don't know. I would doubt it. I haven't seen judge once. If they pass, then we're just going to go. Good old... Okay, so there we go. Well played. Good stuff. Good stuff. Alrighty. And uh, let's just click pass and then... Victory. <laughs> we managed to pull off a win with Oracorio. Granted, not against the best deck out there, but we did pull off a win. I want to see what their deck was. What were they playing? They were playing Glaceon. Wow. They had Energy Evolution Eevee. They had Glaceon GX. They had Tapu Fini. Yeah, we saw that. Shuckle. Articuno. Hang on. I didn't see any of those cards. <laughs> um, wow. Okay. So it was just, just like a straight water deck. Huh. Strange. 
Three Cynthia. Okay, this is definitely, this is probably someone that's new. I mean, three Cynthia and one Tate and Liza is the only dual supporters. Yeah, I wouldn't say that playing against this guy definitely, you know, says this Oracorio deck is good. This person was only playing four draw supporters in his whole deck. It's probably someone new or it's just a kid. So I won't go and sit here and be like, oh my god, we did great. We did play against someone that obviously uh, is either new to the game or, you know, is not too uh, sure how to exactly to deck build um, the basics. Speaking of, if you want me to make a video kind of just going through the basics of deck building, I'd be more than happy to do that. Um, I think it's really good for, for newcomers to just understand the basic concepts of building a deck. Um, because then as soon as you understand the basic concepts and what works, you tend to just have a field day working with just like crazy stuff and building road decks, which is of course what this channel is about. So if you want me to make a video like that, uh, then let me know. Um, I probably might just do it anyway. <laughs> anyway, with that said, do leave a like if you did enjoy this very strange video. Um, and of course, do subscribe for a pack a match every single Monday. We have new decks coming out through Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and on Friday, it'll just be a different kind of video. May it be a tournament or a pack opening. You know, whatever it may be. Um, but other than that, I will leave you to it. Do have a good day, night or evening, whichever it may be. I'll leave you to it, though. Do take care and peace.